This is super fun, guys. Uh, so I got this Frigidaire Pro Series glass top stove for free. Uh, this guy was just getting rid of it. The repairman said there's some sort of a fault in the board and the board is not made anymore. And so it's just basically garbage. So he gave it away for free. One of the elements is not working. It's the bake element, which is the lower element in the oven. Uh, everything else works fine. All the uh, burners, the glass top uh, is all good. It's about a thousand dollar stove. Uh, so I'm really pumped about it. And this is one of the fun things. I fixed a lot of um, really small electronics and those end up being pretty challenging because the circuits are complex. I fixed guitar pedals and other little things and um, you know, figuring out what's going on in those circuits can be confusing. Uh, these are just so simple. And so what I did is I went and tried to measure power at the um, terminals for the uh, element, which are behind the oven. If you have any standard oven, you can measure that. And there was no power coming to the element. So I came up to the control board and I pulled this control board out, which was pretty simple. And I found the place where the wires hook up to go to the element. And so I measured for power here to at the um, the broil element, which is the upper one, and we did have power. Then I measured for power at the bake element, which is the lower one. There is no power, and so that kind of eliminated, uh, you know, some sort of a short in the wiring between the two, and you know, kind of indicating yes, there's a problem up here. So next, I started looking at what supplies power to these terminals. We knew that we have power coming into the whole unit because everything else on this works. All the burners, everything works. Uh, and I noticed there's these two relays right here. Uh, and what these are, uh, one is for the bake element, one is for the broil element. On the side you can see uh, this is a 12 volt uh, is the triggering input and it outputs you know, 240 AC. 16 amp, up to 16 amps. Okay, so you see we've got those relays right there. And if we look under here under the board, you can see where the terminals are coming out. And so we've got one, two, three sets of terminals followed by another, term, another set out there at the end. Basically what's going on here is power is being fed in. This is the power input terminal. It's coming into the center terminals on this relay and it is either being fed here to the broil element or down which then provides power to the center terminal of the second relay and that second relay then uh, could either it, it, it had the option of providing power to another relay that is not used in this board uh, or powering this uh, bake element right here. So what I did is I got out my little multimeter here and I started measuring continuity and what I found is if I measure between this terminal and this terminal we have uh, no resistance meaning that these two are connected in the off state and so it means meaning this uh, is like a normally this is normally closed when the uh, when there's no power applied to the relay. So I measured here and here and did not get any continuity between these two terminals. Meaning that this relay is bad. Uh, and so what I've done here is I purchased a new relay. This was $6 shipped from eBay. Okay, so here we've got our relay and we're gonna measure between those two terminals on our brand new relay and we can see that sure enough, those two are connected. This is a pretty fun one because I think it's kind of crazy that uh, with such a simple problem like this, someone is ready to just throw away the stove, a thousand dollar stove. Um, and I've seen a lot of people online, you know, if, if they, uh, have a similar problem. I was kind of Googling it to see if there was anybody else with the same problem. And there were a lot of people who, you know, would say, oh, you know, 
I've measured everything and I can't find any fault with the element or the wiring and, and someone would respond, well, you know, it looks like it's the board and the board's no longer made, so get a new stove. So to remove this old relay, I've got this roll of desoldering braid. Let's see if it'll focus. Um, I got this stuff from Radio Shack, which still exists here in Salem, Oregon. I got it from there a long time ago. Uh, and I've just slowly been using it up, but you basically just uh, heat up your soldering iron and then press this into it and the solder flows uh, onto this and away from the joint. And so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just kind of go under here and I'm going to carefully and slowly just remove all the solder on the uh, bad relay. And uh, you want to you wanna be very careful not to force this out. You can see in here, these are bent over uh, as well as those. And if you were to kind of pull on that, it could potentially rip this uh, soldering or this um, circuit board trace out. I've done that before. Uh, and when you have a damaged circuit board, then like an actual circuit board you know, like an actual trace being pulled out, that is going to complicate things a lot. So uh, to make things simple, you want to be very careful. So now I've got the new one just kind of sitting here and I'm just going to have to soften up the solder a little bit to let it drop down in there. Alright, so now it's sitting in there and I'm just going to add a little bit of solder to each pad to finish it off. That one's back in there, and we can verify with our uh, multimeter here. What do we got when we test those two now? Perfect. We're good to go. All right, and I've got it mostly back together, and uh, it's working. I can put my hand down here in the oven. Oh, gosh. And it is hot on the bottom there and on the top meaning both of these elements ooh that's hot yep both of these elements are working so uh stove is working perfectly and i love it when i fix something as and it works <laughs> this fix probably took about 20 minutes and uh cost six dollars and saved this beautiful stove from the landfill all it took was this little relay right here. Uh, so, you know, if you've got a problem with your Frigidaire uh, Pro Series stove, maybe this is the same problem, maybe it's something similar, but either way, it's a really easy fix. Uh, I hope I can encourage you not to throw away your stove and to actually repair the board because it's really simple. Uh, and, you know, I just hope more people can uh, get into that mentality. So, thanks for watching.